What's going on everybody, it's Warren, welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder where we talk all things Marvel and MCU and today the article for Empire Magazine officially came out, the one that we've been talking about for about a week now and with that new article comes four brand new photos for Spider-Man No Way Home and a little bit of information about the movie. Now it's nothing really really big, however... Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's names are in the article and they are teased. So much like the other days of this week, lots of Spider-Man news today and I'm going to break it all down. And of course, if you love Spider-Man and the MCU, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos and so you can enter to win a Spider-Man Bring Variant Arts action figure. It's super cool and all you got to do to enter is subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my other channel, Cosmic Culture. Leave some comments on some videos. So let's sort of walk through these photos one by one before we dive into some things that the article says because I know the photos are what everybody enjoys. And let's start with this one of Doc Ock because I truly think that it is the most interesting for a few reasons here. One, a photo was released yesterday where Doc Ock was holding up Spider-Man. Now yesterday he only had two arms holding him up. One was wrapped around him and the other was holding his head. Now this is probably the same scene. The background is a little bit different. It looks like they could be under the bridge instead of on top of the bridge, but we do see a car webbed up to the right of Alfred Molina's Doc Ock. Now we've obviously seen the photo of Doc Ock throwing the cars, and as I predicted, Spider-Man was probably running to try and save some of the cars by webbing them up and making sure that they don't fall off the bridge. It looks like he was pretty successful in that part. However, it looks like he has his work cut out for him with Doc Ock, and I've actually been told something kind of specific about this photo. If you look closely to his arms, you can actually see that he has some red in his arms. Now, what I've been told from a source is that these are actually nanobots, and it looks like they could be from Tom Holland's nanotechnology iron spider suit. Now, that's all of the information that I could get, unfortunately, but if you do take a look closely, they do kind of look like it could be from Tom Holland's nano suit. So now a few questions arise because of this. One, why? Two, who exactly did this? Now, the article mentions that they are bringing villains over from the Sam Raimi universe. Obviously, Doc Ock is confirmed as we're getting all of these pictures and saw him in the trailer. However, just because he's from the Raimi universe doesn't exactly mean it's the exact same Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2. Perhaps he comes from a timeline where he actually defeated Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man and he lived and he went on and perhaps he could have developed some nanotechnology himself. In fact, I actually think it would be pretty dang cool if his arm arms were nanotech. So could this be something that Doc Ock is doing? He does look like he is fully in control with the red nanotech on his tentacles, but it could also be something that Spider-Man tried to do. Did he try to deploy some of his suit on Doc Ock to try and fight him? Could he have tried to put his own nanotech on his tentacles to try and control the arms? Because I can definitely see how that could be a tactic. However, judging by this photo, I don't think it's really working. I think if anything, it probably gives Doc Ock a little bit more more strength. And who knows, we know that Peter is going to go through a few different suits in Spider-Man No Way Home. Perhaps Doc Ock actually takes the nanotech from his suit and puts them on his tentacles. We have no idea what type of technology Doc Ock is going to have when he comes into Spider-Man No Way Home, but perhaps it could be pretty advanced. And I actually think this would be a cool initial encounter. Doc Ock kind of just completely overpowering Spider-Man to where he needs some help, aka the other two Spider-Men. Now another picture that we have is of Spider-Man and it appears that he is in the basement of the New York Sanctum. Three things about this photo that I noticed. One is that there seems to be sort of two parts to this basement. One part behind him looks like it has furniture, it looks like it's kind of a lounge area, and the part in front of him where he's standing kind of looks like it's all made out of rock. It actually looks like the place where Doctor Strange does the spell. That's the second thing I noticed, but Peter Parker is in his Spider-Man suit here. And when we saw him in the trailer, he was not in his Spider-Man suit when Doctor Strange did the spell. This leads me to believe that this is going to be after he does the spell and perhaps the villains could have broken out of the prison right here. This could be after Spider-Man and Doctor Strange fight. Because because as rumor has it, right now, Doctor Strange and Peter fight, and that's what releases the villains. Now, the last thing I noticed is the staircase in the background. 
That staircase is actually where Peter, MJ, and Ned were when we got our very first photo for Spider-Man No Way Home of the three of them looking up at a mysterious figure. This looks like the exact same place, so the mysterious figure could be Doctor Strange, however, at this point in time, Peter probably ran into him already. So could it actually be another Spider-Man coming from a different universe? That's something I'm very curious to see because they want us to believe that they're looking at Doctor Strange, and typically when Marvel wants us to believe something, it's because it's something something else, but we'll have to wait and see until the movie comes out. Now, there's two more photos, and there's not really that much to them to look into. One is of Doctor Strange. He's standing there with his arms crossed. He has a sling ring in his hand, and he has a cut on the side of his face. We can maybe assume that him and Peter just got done fighting, and the villains broke out, and possibly that scratch came from Peter or one of the villains. Again, it's just a picture of him in front of the Sanctum with his arms crossed, which means he's probably pretty upset about something, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this is after the fight and after the villains get out, but again, it's just a picture of him standing there, so it's really hard to tell. And for the last photo, we've kind of seen this before, and we know the context of the situation. This is pretty much right after the events of Spider-Man Far From Home's post credit scene. MJ is with Peter, and they're very, very high. It looks like they were on top of some type of scaffolding or really big construction equipment. It looks like Peter grabbed MJ and kind of took off a little bit, but then the helicopter starts surrounding them. He's wearing the exact same suit that he was in the post credits of Far From Home, and so is MJ. She's wearing the exact same clothes. So we pretty much know exactly what the scene is. Now, like I did mention, Empire Magazine did talk a little bit about Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Of course, they did not confirm anything. They're not going to confirm something that big in an Empire Magazine article, but I'll tell you what they said. Now, first off, they did kind of address other rumors like Jamie Foxx returning as Electro and of course Sandman and the Lizard returning as well, but all they really said was, these are rumors going around. Well, yeah, no kidding, there are rumors going around. And just saying that there are rumors is not confirming or denying, so it's a great response, but it doesn't tell us anything at all. But then they go and talk about other rumors, like Kristen Dunst possibly returning, Emma Stone possibly returning, and then they give us this paragraph. And most seismically, there have been reports that Holland won't be the only Spider-Man in the movie. That, at some point, the current Peter Parker will share a screen with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, the actors who preceded him in the role we could be looking at a veritable peck of Peter Parker's, Spider-Man's, Spider-Man's doing whatever spiders can. It goes on to say, the way in which these rumors have blossomed and mutated has been fascinating to watch, going from mere wishful thinking to being treated as cold hard fact in record time. There is now an expectation among Spider fans that Garfield and Maguire will show up at some point in No Way Home. And listen to what Kevin Foggy says about this. Rumors are fun because many of them are true and many of them are not true. The danger is when you get into the expectations game of wanting people to be excited about the movie they get and not disappointed by a movie they didn't get. To me, Kevin Feige is playing it cool. I mean, it's Kevin Feige, he's the ultimate cool guy. But at this point in time, I've seen enough evidence for myself and have talked to enough insiders who have confirmed that both Toby and Andrew are in the film that I fully believe that they are coming. In fact, I've been told some pretty specific details about some scenes that unfortunately I can't reveal. But I love how Kevin Feige said rumors are fun because many of them are true. And the best part about this article is that, again, I've mentioned before in the past, Sony and Marvel Studios have to sign off on what they publish. They have to agree to let them publish everything in this article. So they read it all entirely before it goes out. And if there's something in there that they don't like, they say, cut this part. So they let them put all of that stuff in there about Andrew Garfield, about Tobey Maguire, Kirsten Dunst, which is to me just another sign that they are in the film because they're not going to let them talk about it and get everybody's expectations up just for them to not be in the movie. But let me know what you think about these new photos and about this article in the comments down below.